Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have to talk about the major SBC that we were expecting and that did come yesterday inside of FIFA 21, and that is the Renato Sanchez Foot Birthday SBC card. Now, I want to talk about this and also what it did to the market because it crashed this entire market once again. Again, this whole promo of good value, juiced up, meta player SBCs just continues to go on, right? This Renato Sanchez today was an, an SBC we've been expecting for the past few days. I want to talk about what this did to market because honestly, your boy is losing some coins right now because I took a risk earlier yesterday on Saturday buying some cards, hoping that the SBC would be overpriced and that did not happen, right? And I should have probably just held my coins because I was going to be busy today and not be able to be on the market that much anyway. But I took the risk and it's not working out. So I'm taking some L's. I know a lot of you guys are taking some L's too. And we'll talk about that in this video as well as what could be coming today as the foot 18 SBC. But let's take a look at this absolute beast because I know a ton of you guys are doing this SBC. I know a lot of you guys are doing them. You're planning to do them. There's 81 plus player picks that expire today at 6 p.m. until those go away, which they'll probably get replaced with something else, but it probably will be that 81 double upgrade pack, not the player pick, which is not as OP as the player pick, but a lot of people are crafting this right now and they're buying fodder players. They're doing what they have to. Fodder was so invested in for this SBC and it still went up. That's how crazy of a demand this SBC has. But of course, this is the card. You know, I'll be completely honest. I was hoping they would have made this an 88 or an 89 rated card, but I think they saw the stats when they gave him a plus three and they're like, man, if we give him anything else, it's gonna break the game. But 88 pace, 90 physical, 90 dribbling. This card looks absolutely nuts. They gave him the five star weak foot instead of the five star skills, which I think some people were wanting, but 700K is what this card is coming in at. And it's out for like, two and a half weeks or almost three weeks. This card is out for a long time. So you're going to be able, it's out for 20 days. You're going to be able to craft this over time if you do want to get it in the squad. And to me, just from an iconic SBC in FIFA 21, this is probably an SBC that I will complete at some point during this three week period that it's out just because it is purely iconic. This is going to be one of the most meta cards we remember from FIFA 21 for sure. And he got a crazy five star week for the, um, and a crazy boost for this SBC during full birthday. So I know a ton of you guys are doing this. I want to know down below in the comments, number one, if you're doing this SBC and number two, how are you going to link him in your team? Because I want to hear what you guys are saying about how you're going to link him in your team because I'm going to be looking at a lot of icons because we saw those go up today with all the SBCs that have come out recently. I think the icons are an interesting look going forward. But I want to talk about Foot Birthday Team 2, those prices that dropped a little bit today and the prices that got destroyed overall in this market because midfielders and the whole market in general is just down bad again. It was a market crash for sure because, again, people are focused on on this SBC. So from that road to the final, we got plus three pace, plus four shooting, plus three passing. So plus three and four is all around. Uh, and a 280K, this was actually down in the 250s, I think, in the panic selling, and it's bounced back up a little bit for people who are just buying this card instead of doing this SBC. But a lot of people are doing this SBC, and that was evident. Again, the fact that we saw fodder go up today, take a look at some of these 89s. I think these are the ones that had a biggest percentage point rise, in my opinion, today. Of course, some of these 86s have gone from like 26K to about 30,000 coins. Some of the 30 or some of the 87 rated cards have gone from like mid 30s to 40. The 88s have gone from mid 40s to 50. And the 89s have gone from like 58, 59,000 coins all the way up to like high 60s. So decent return there. The 90s didn't move too much. But the reason why the market crashed so much today is because this SBC was at a price point where it was doable for so many people, especially with the player picks that came out. We talked about it yesterday. I said, if EA makes this SBC somewhat good value, you're going to see people go and hammer the player picks. They're going to sell their stuff and they're going to do this SBC, right? They made this 700,000 coins or so. Only 80, was it 85, 86, and 87 rated squads for the Renato Sanchez card, which is very doable for a lot of people. And that's why I think you're seeing so much stuff get absolutely destroyed on the market today. And they only required one inform. So I really don't know if informs went up that much. I'd have to, to, to check. Um, but all my fodder, I've got some fodder on the transfers right now. Uh, if I'm not using that to help me complete Renato Sanchez, I'm going to be holding on to it because I still think there's more SBCs to come that could continue to make fodder go up. And 
we're, we're kind of done with the supply. We might have some more lightning rounds today, but with that SBC being out, that has got demand on the rise for fodder, and I only see more SBCs coming out to make that stuff continue to go up uh, as we do have another uh, foot birthday SBC coming today. But let's talk about what absolutely got destroyed today. Now, pre-6 p.m. content, I was looking at some team of the year cards. I was not planning on buying anything yesterday. I was not looking at buying anything because I was worried about post-6 p.m. No matter what the price of the card was, I felt like people were going to go out and still try to craft the SBC. And that is exactly what is happening. I bought an Alfonso Davies at 1.28. He's still at 1.3 mil. And my biggest L on the day, I took a risk on a mid on a baby Vieira. Bought a baby Vieira for 1.3 mil, which is still down so much from where that card has been. He's down to 1.2 mil now. So I'm going to lose some coins. I did make some coins on Usman Dembele today. He is bouncing back at the moment. 730,000 coins. I got one at 680. So small profit there. I'll probably try to get him out at like 730, 740 tonight. Because in my opinion, I think today on Sunday, we've seen a lot of panic selling already. And a lot of these cards are down, especially the midfielders. But I think it continues to drop. Now let's take a look at some of the cards that have gone down. Tiago was 500,000 coins. He is now 403. Huge drop there. Uh, you know, you look through a lot of these special teams. How much is De Bruyne? De Bruyne is 605. So he, he's still kind of in that same range. Uh, now, of course, Conte is an interesting one because Conte got destroyed today because Chelsea did not get their third win in a row. Uh, but you look at some of these other prices, right? Berchiche, is 168. He was just 200,000 coins over the weekend. This Gomez is 464. That's down 100,000 coins right there. And if we take a look across the game, just some of these midfielders that have gotten destroyed, it's crazy, right? Reese James is already down. Newhouse, who was 200K, down to 150. Um, some of the other like defensive minded midfielders, Kamavinga, 1.17. Uh, he is down a bunch, especially some of the icons, right? Like the Zidane. Um, I'm trying to think of some other cards. How much is Bruno? Bruno's back up to 3.05. De Bruyne is 1.18. Kimmich dropped 200,000 coins today alone. This guy was 1.6 this morning. I mean, Trent Alexander-Arnold's down a bunch. So the stuff that is down the most, and it's going to be the hardest to rebound, are these midfielders. I mean, take a look at Goretzka. 540 for this guy who was just 680K a couple days ago. Down bad. Again, because right now what's getting pumped up and what's getting pushed are these League One links. Ben Yedder is back up. He was down and he rebounded back up. Some of, like the Bamba is still up in price, 334. And then, you know, some of the other, you know, League One cards have bounced up a little bit. Freeze Mane is 1.3. That is down a ton, right? Lautaro was over 300. He's now 247. You've got big drops everywhere else. The midfielders were the biggest thing that was hurt today, though, um, because obviously people went out and they sold cards. Like, where's mid hullet? Now, this card might have bounced back because just he's just he's mid hullet. But wow, this card is still down at four million coins. Um, so this card is still down, right? A lot of this stuff is not going to bounce back very fast, especially your defensive midfielders. You're very meta and expensive defensive midfielders are going to stay inflated or stay low in price because this SBC is just taking so many resources off of the market. Now, you know, for other stuff today, how do I feel that this market is going to continue going over the next couple days? That focus is still on that Renato SBC for the next day or two. I honestly do think that you're going to continue to see some prices. Uh, the cards that are in packs right now, of course, they have a lot of hype. Foot birthday team too. You're going to see those fluctuate around a decent amount. Like this, Dama Troyer was up to 1.8 mil. Right now, he's down in the 1.6s. So I'm getting kind of interested in this, I'll be honest, because this could have some potential bounce back maybe into the high 1.7s uh, just because he is so rare and has so much hype. So maybe if I get some coins back tonight, we might try to do a flip or two on one of these into Sunday. But again, there's so much hype on that Renato Sanchez SBC that I think people are going to be using their last chance at the player picks and their last chance to grind upgrade packs throughout this next week of Foot Birthday Team 2 to try to get that SBC completed, and that's going to be the focus. So if you are going to try to pick up on some cards that could rise, because I do think once the, the, the focus kind of shifts away after this weekend, after today, you're going to start to see some stuff rebound back. And the stuff that you're going to see rebound back the most is going to be, I think, your link investments to those popular players that came out during this promo and icons, right? Now, this icon, Luis Figo, today is one that I was watching. He was 320K pre-content drop. I should have bought this instead of my Vieira, right? He went all the way up to 390,000 coins. 
and then he's been chilling there. And right now he's back down to 352. And he's, you know, a couple undercuts there. What I would be doing is watch out for those Portuguese icons. Um, maybe Eusebio is a bit more expensive. But, you know, watch out for Luis Figo. He's a pretty usable one. And just all icons in general. I know a lot of these midfielder icons have dropped a lot. But maybe your, your Desais, your Blanc, um, cards like that in the, you know, in the outside edge of the midfield. You know, look, this is Don card. What, what are they today? He was down low, I know. Heading into the content, he went to 156 and he's rebounded a little bit. He's actually still 159, so not too much. But you know, maybe like we were looking at Lam and Cole, the English links with the new cards that are in Foot Birthday 2 are very hyped. Uh, and you still have your Bundesliga links from the Royce and from all of the, the Ozil and the, and the Vidalski that people are doing right now too. So keep an eye on some of those links that are still meta from this team of Foot Birthday cards and from the SBCs that we have seen in the past week or so um, because people are still putting those cards into their teams and using them and trying to link them. That's the kind of stuff that I would see rebound first. Like honestly, um, I'm still kind of looking at this Gunter card from Team 2, 127,000 coins for that left back card. A lot of strong links are going to be very, very important. So strong links to the cards that are hype, that are new, that have come out. Even some of your Lautaro, uh, like your Lautaro and uh, Martinez investments because they linked to, um, they linked to the big man uh, Vidal when he came out. Like this guy was what we just saw down at like 240,000 coins. You know, there's still people that are going to have to link Vidal, right? They might run Vidal and Serie A on one side. Uh, and you can see this card is very rare. So I do think you will see a rebound back on some areas of the market. But I'm really going to watch icons because that helps people link those, those cards together in their teams. And also some of those really meta strong links to the other foot birthday cards that we have seen drop that people are using right now. French links, especially English and German. So... That's kind of how I feel like it's going to be going over the next couple of days. Now, I'm probably going to take the L's on my cards. And if you guys lost coins today, I just I just want to give you a little bit of a pep talk, right? This happens sometimes where, um, you know, you're, the thinking behind the thought process is good. But then all of a sudden something happens and, you know, your investment falls through. Like I got these, I got this at 1285 today. I was really hoping that the Renato would be a bit overpriced and then it would bounce back up. Now, some of this stuff is going to bounce back up. It's just going to take a little bit of time, in my opinion, because you had all this panic selling. People are adjusting their teams. So it, it kind of comes down to a point where, hey, do I want to, you know, take my coins on this right now, take the loss and try to make those coins back before those cards could rebound back up. Uh, you have to kind of, you know, to look at how you know efficient you are on the market and what how much time you have to trade uh, and stuff like that. So this Vieira for the one for me is going to be the biggest pill, the hardest pill to swallow today, just because this guy dropped down so much. You know, I'm maybe try to get a sale at like 1.2 mil, take my 100 and what is that, 160k loss, and, and move on. Right, 160k loss basically will be back even for where we were before the weekend when I made a bunch of coins on the Foot Birthday Team Two cards. But again, stuff like this is going to happen, right? And it's really, really easy to get frustrated with it. It's really easy to get frustrated and say, man, I was really hoping to make coins here. And I would just, again, want to encourage you guys to not quit, right? It's so easy to quit and to kind of like think about giving up, right? And think about, yeah, I did not make coins on this trade. Uh, so I'm going to give up. I really, really encourage you guys not to do that and to try to see the positives in it and say, hey, I'm going to bounce back from this. This loss right here, these two cards that I'm about to lose on are going to give me motivation to continue to make coins this next week. Because again, there's going to be ways to make coins this next week with cards bouncing back, with link investments. We still have more SBCs that are coming out. We have a new one today on Sunday. We have to talk about that in a second. So again, try to turn it and flip that negative to a positive because that for me is a way that I found the best way because sometimes if you get in that kind of depressed just sad state man i'm losing coins i suck at trading you don't all right it's just kind of a, a mindset thing right it's it's a mental thing where if you kind of just put that in the past forget about it and say hey you know what this is what it is we're going to move forward from it that's a huge mental barrier that you can get through that it'll help you big time um, with positivity and moving forward after that experience. So I just kind of wanted to share that because I was getting kind of upset tonight. And I was like, man, I really wanted to make coins on those cards. I thought the bounce back was going to be there because, you know, all of the pieces connected. It was just, I, I relied on EA to do something that I thought they were going to do, which was make Renato Sanchez overpriced. They did not. And I'm paying the price for it, right? Again, don't rely on EA. That's one of the rules we talk about and sell into the hype. And I did not do that. So the fault is on me for sure. Anyways, that's my talk around that. 
but I do think you will start to see some of the stuff rebound back on the market. Now, there's still people trying out for birthday cards too, right? Team 2 of Foot Birthday, I think we're going to have more lightning rounds today. They ran lightning rounds last weekend, and they know that these cards are very, very hype. So we're going to have to watch these prices uh, because I do believe from Sunday night of last week into Monday, there were a few of them that rebounded after squad battle rewards late in the nighttime UK, Sane especially. So this week, I'd be watching like Adama, Awar, uh, Sterling, Kent, and Atal if he becomes unextinct. Those are the cards that I would watch out for because those are the most hyped as a part of this Team 2 promo, watching these guys move around in price. Now, I want to talk about this center back foot 18 SBC right here. Supposedly, this is supposed to be Eric Bailly today. Now, you've already seen some of the Manchester United links start to rise, but of course, depending on how cracked this card looks, you know, you might see panic selling on a guy like Tamori, just, you know, center back that's in packs. Well, I'm really interested to see what this SBC is today. If it is Eric Bailly, what the stat juice is going to look like, what the price is going to be. And of course, that Netherlands um, foot 20 SBC, we were thinking foot 20 was going to be Ben Yedder, but it's looking like right now, the word on the street is it's going to be um, St. Juice Day, the center back from the Bundesliga Mines, I think he plays for. Uh, and he had the was it Scream card last year in FIFA 20 that was cracked. So I think that is where that SBC could be coming from. We'll see uh, when that day does come. But it's looking like it's going to be Eric Bailly, Condogbia, and possibly St. Juice Day. So especially Eric Bailly today, watch those GGMU links. Left back Shaw is already starting to rise back up. Watch your Bruno Fernandez uh, and stuff like that. Those could be cards that maybe rise up a little bit as a link investment to Eric Bailly if he is cracked out. But I want to make one final comparison with this Renato Sanchez SBC because if you guys remember, a FIFA SBC of old the vibes that I'm getting with this specific SB, this is probably going to be one of the most insane and remembered SBCs inside of FIFA 21 for the entire year. And it is affecting the entire market of midfielders and it's crashing the whole market by itself while rising link investments who were already invested in. That kind of crazy hype reminds me of two instances in past FIFAs. The first one is Scream PK from last year in FIFA 20. I don't know if you guys remember this card. This came out during Scream, which was early on. And for an early SBC, this card was nuts and it was very cheap. All center backs in the game got destroyed. All of the Spanish La Liga links went up. So it was crazy to see that hype with that SBC. And also player of the month, Jamie Vardy from last year, crashed like all the strikers on the game because it was super duper cheap. This is what this Renato was reminding me of. It's reminding me of this PK SBC just because, again, the hype uh, that there was with that SBC. So again, that's the video for today, boys. Happy Sunday. Happy Easter if you're celebrating and uh, watch out for that Eric Bailly SBC. But I wanted to make this video talking about this Renato Sanchez because he actually came out. EA did the business. Uh, we expect it with this promo, right? This, this promo is basically all the super meta cards, <laughs> the FIFA fan favorites, I guess you could call them for the past like two years, all got cards this weekend. So it's been crazy. But let me know again down below in the comments if you're doing Renato Sanchez and how you're going to link him in your team because I'm very curious to know how you guys are fitting that card with the interesting links that he has inside of your ultimate teams. But if you enjoyed this video, hit a thumbs up on it. Of course, drop it down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.